Costco is known for free samples and large packs of toilet paper. But did you know they also have great deals on meat? You can buy big portions, and here on this channel, I teach you how to break them down into smaller portions so you can feed your family for less. Let's go to Costco and start checking them out. I'll walk you through it. Let's go. Here we go. We are at Costco. I'm going to show you the best deals in the meat department at Costco and what to do with the products that are here. I'm going to help you save some money. Come with me. Let's go check out the deals at Costco. So one of the biggest deals known at Costco, as far as meat goes, is the rotisserie chicken. $4.99 for a whole roasted rotisserie chicken. You can even go to the meat department and see what a whole chicken would cost. They have a two pack of ch whole chickens that are $8 a piece, so $16 for two huge chickens. I don't know, really know how they do that. It's obviously a loss leader where they're losing money on these rotisserie chickens just to get you in the door. And again, they put them all the way in the back. This is one of the best deals at Costco. They're delicious and they're $4.99 and you can just easily break them down. It's so easy and so affordable. This is one of the better deals. On my channel, I haven't done a lot of fish, but I'm gonna plan to do more fish in the future. That's kind of hard to say, fish in the future. Anyway, I wanted to show you, I get this all the time for my family at Costco. Now this is the wild sockeye salmon and it is running at $9.99 a pound. I went and checked the frozen farm raised salmon in the freezer section and it was $11.33 a pound. So in my mind, let's get the stuff that's wild, that's wild caught, that's wild sockeye salmon. This is going to be a much denser product. It's going to be a more salmony salmon, okay? The farm raised stuff is a little bit bland, doesn't really taste like anything. This one has some character and some flavor and is awesome. The thing we gotta work with is it does have skin on. So we're gonna take out the package. I'm gonna show you real quick how to take that skin off. All right, so we're just gonna take this out of the package real quick. Now, as far as salmon goes, there's a little belly piece right here. It just gets thin and you can, you can cut that part off. I cut that part off before I take the skin off. Just so it makes a straight line. It just makes a nice, a prettier cut there. The next thing we're gonna do See if I can flip around like this, is we are going to take the tail piece, okay? And we're gonna hold it with our thumb and our hand. You may need to get a paper towel and um, hold it there, but we're gonna kind of cut down just till we get to the skin and kind of flatten out our knife. If the knife is rotated too far down, it's gonna cut through the skin. If it's cut too far up, it's gonna cut through the meat. So you just wanna ride that meat as much as possible. See how close I am? Once you get that nice angle, you're gonna grab a nice whole piece of that skin and then move the skin and the knife at the same time. Okay, just like that. And now I can just go ahead and cut it into portions. Here's our salmon cut up from Costco, wild sockeye salmon. This stuff tastes so good. You're gonna love it. Give it a try. Now here we go on to the next deal. Now we're gonna talk about T-bones and porterhouses. I feel like I just went over this as far as the Sam's video where I went through the five best deals in the meat department. Well, this is another one that they did the exact same thing. T-bones versus porterhouses. Let's bust this open. I'm gonna show you the difference. This is labeled a T-bone steak USDA choice. Here are our steaks. Now I went through, cause you gotta do this when, when this happens, you go through all the packages and you look for the ones that have the biggest filet. Now look at that huge filet. I'm getting this for $9.99 a pound. This is a porterhouse steak if I've ever seen one. The smaller the filet, then it becomes a T-bone. The big filet becomes a porterhouse. Now you gotta look for these deals guys, and this is you gotta sift through all those packages and find the right ones. Go look for them, sift through and find the ones that are awesome and that have the huge filets. That's how you get the best deal. Next, next we have the pork loin. Now going through Costco, you will see that the pork aisle or the, the place where they have the fresh pork is the best deals in the whole entire place. Now, where are my high protein people? So if you love high protein, 
I, you need to learn, this is, needs to be your new best friend. We are talking $1.99 per pound. I'm sure you have walked past this thing a ton of times. Like what is that huge piece of meat? This is one of the better deals at Costco and at any place that you can find a whole pork loin. We can get pork chops, we can get pork roasts, we can grind it and get ground pork. There are so many things you can do with this it is crazy. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna break it down and show you how easy it is to like just cut this up, clean it up, and cut it into pork chops. All right, let's cut this, let's score the. All right, so all we're gonna do is take this fat and just kind of trim it down a little bit. Now you trim the fat to as little of fat as you want. Kind of a funny story while I'm doing this. I just learned after almost 20 years of marriage that my wife does not like pork chops. Found that out like two weeks ago. You can see that this is more of the pork chop end. You can see that the color is a little lighter and then it gets a little darker. What I like to do is cut pork chops off of here and then take my pork roast or go ahead and grind the ends. So now we're just gonna cut pork chops out of it. as thick or as thin as you want. Since I get to the end, I'm just, I have to make a big batch of pork sausage because my family does like sausage so that I'm gonna go ahead and cube this up and then make it into sausage. But again, the uses on this are endless. So here we go. Here's all my chops and I got my grind material here. I got my grind stuff here. And then I got a, quite a few, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I got 12 pork chops and then a bunch of grind. I mean, $1.99 a pound cannot beat it. Let's on to the next one. This next tip is a cautionary tale. So as you go through Costco, they have all the fresh meat that's under the packages, but then they have the se I, what I like to call the semi-prepared meat. It's been marinated or changed in some way, and then they do an upcharge. These are all not done at, from Costco. They buy all this stuff from a different purveyor and then sell it there. So I want, I saw this thing today and it caught my eye because it said sirloin filet. I'm going to show a picture of it, but it said sirloin filet. I did not buy it. We've been together for long enough that we understand that there is no sirloin filet. Got that down. What they have done is taken the sirloin, wrapped it in bacon and called it a filet. And they upcharge you for that privilege. I can walk 20 feet over to the other place, get a sirloin and then wrap it in bacon. And I just saved a ton of money. These sirloins are $9.49 per pound. These sirloin fillets wrapped in bacon are over $13 a pound. And they're a little tiny, like this big. But what I'm gonna do is just cut this one in half, because this is a big one. So we're just gonna cut it in half. Boom, there we go. I got my Costco bacon. Take Costco bacon, wrap it in Costco sirloin, and now we have a sirloin fillet. Look how much money I just saved. I put a very inexpensive piece of bacon around an inexpensive steak. We're gonna season those up, put them in a pan, put them on the grill, do whatever you want with them, but they are gonna be delicious. Better price than the sirloin filet that you get at Costco. Here we go, check them out. This is how you do it. We're gonna save some money, here we go. As I'm packing up the pork chops, I really would love it if you would hit subscribe if you haven't already. We are getting so close to 100,000 subscribers and it's a goal that I've really wanted to hit for a long time. For our final tip, I wanna show you this next video. It's gonna be a how I saved a ton of money on briskets at Costco. So I'm gonna put that link right here, go check it out.